On my to-do list today was print tote bags, finish capstone draft, and try to film some of it, and I did all of that. So today was a successful day, a productive day. I got things done on my creative end, I got things done on my school end, and that makes me feel even more productive because I wasn't just doing schoolwork, so. <laughs> I posted this on my Instagram story, um, just like the last shirt I have, and I said, please, some buy this. And in an hour, someone bought it, and I also bought a bandana, and that makes me very happy. I just got finished um, packing up a hoodie for one of my friends. Um, I hadn't even had a chance to list it on my website. So I was showing her the stuff that I was printing when we were on FaceTime, and she wanted it. So I just finished packing that up, and then I got that order. So now I'm going to pack that order because they ordered the t-shirt and a bandana. My heart. My itty bitty heart. I was even planning on printing some tote bags today because that's the last thing I have to do before photographing everything. So that's that. And then my capstone draft one is due at midnight. And it has taken me a whole week of working like full eight hour days to get this shit done. So, I'm probably going to still work on that before turning it in at midnight. So, that's what today is so far. This is the t-shirt packed up in some just some tissue paper with the care instructions card and the, these apply to the bandana also so I didn't feel the need to put in two. The bandana is in a cellophane bag just to protect it from like water damage and stuff and I have the freebie sticker and my business card um, inside of it so it doesn't like, I don't know, get loose in the packing or whatever. And then I'm just throwing in um, a free sticker pack because this person was really nice and ordered a good amount of stuff and I want to be nice so that's that and then I'm going to pack it in this old Amazon poly mailer um, I like to save any packaging I get to use especially for like clothes and stuff because there's no need to buy a bunch of poly mailers when I get sent them sometimes so that's that order I'm going to pack it up it's funny because this person literally ordered this maybe 15-20 minutes ago and it's already ready to go. The only reason I'm not sending it out is because it's Sunday. The tote bags straight out of the packaging are like super wrinkled and if I try to print on it while it's that wrinkled then it will like mess up the print sometimes like there'll be a gap in it so I have to iron some of these wrinkles out first. I think I'm only even going to print three tote bags anyway. This is a super old iron. I made like the best playlist for like my April current playlist and if you want access to it you can subscribe to my Patreon. I post it with my newsletter every month but this playlist is just so good and I've been listening to it on repeat for so long so I'm going to listen to that now and you're going to hear some non-copyrighted music. Have fun!
I completely cut myself on my palette knife, so that's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have done two colors so far. Let me show you. So I've printed two colors so far. I need to do the third color. I'm only on four. I'm going to leave the last one for like a different concept or design or whatever. What you don't see when you see the final product is me having to clean up literally everything, the ink plate, the uh, the palette knife, the brayer, the blocks, all of it between each color and it takes a bit of time and then I have to do the next color and then clean it all up again and yeah but it's fun actually no I hate the cleanup but like the printing is fun so it's fine I want to print on the backs also just like a flower and then my signature stamp but I obviously have to wait till the front dries so these are going to be a, a lot of days process, like it's going to be some time. But hopefully I'll have them done soon. I'll actually probably start photographing the clothes before I even finish the tote bags because I can get a jump start on that to post on my Patreon this month. And I want to have this shop update this month. Like, I don't know if that's possible, but my goal is the end of April. Don't hold me to that, but that's my goal. So this is where I'm at right now. I have four colors done. Not all are going to have all six colors, but I like where it's going right now. This bandana, I'm going to print like another color on top of the green. This bandana is done. I don't necessarily know if I like it yet, but it's done. But yeah, these four totes are almost there. And this one blank one is going to have a different block on it. I already said that, I'm pretty sure. This is what my sister's bedroom turns into when I'm in full-on art mode. It actually is pretty tame right now, but... I have been printing for hours! Like, it's been... it's already like 12... 53 or like 1 p.m. at this point and I've been printing since like 10 a.m. So I'm hungry and I'm gonna print the blue layer and then eat some food because I need some food. I didn't expect to be printing for so long so I really don't have that much steam left in me for this fucking capstone but it's basically putting together a digital zine. I have the first draft written but I don't have any visuals and I need to screenshot a bunch of TikToks and it's just a lot of work and I'm going to be doing it for hours and I shouldn't have printed for hours beforehand knowing that my deadline was at midnight. But that's okay. Bad decisions get made and I have until midnight so it's fine. Um, right now I'm making pasta. I'm going to smoke a bowl and just hang out and pet the cats for a bit and then I'll jump back in to work. And I don't know if I'm going to show me working on the capstone because it's probably going to be boring because it's just going to be me almost crying in front of my computer because that's what it's been for the past week. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but I've got a lot done. If you want to see the final products of what I printed, um, you can check out, you can subscribe or I mean, or become Oh god. You can become a patron um, on my merch preview tier. I always save the final products for them. So I don't put them anywhere else until they see them first. Um, but you saw like almost the final product. But you didn't see the end. So if you want to see the end, the last layer that I did, 
I might add another one, but so far what I think is the end, it's my Patreon. Patreon. I can't talk right now, so I'm just going to smoke this bowl and go make sure my water doesn't boil over. It's hours later now, and graphic design is not my passion. I'm not having a good time putting this together. Like, I... Let me, let me show you. So, I just... This is it. This is the cover page. I decided on fonts. I've, been, I've literally been going through font websites and, like, font TikToks trying to find good ones that go together and just, like, ones that are interesting. So I have the cover. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot they them shit. How the viral trends of quarantine help further blur the lines of the gender binary. My name, this little doodle thing. Yeah, I did that. That took me forever forever and then i have this second page and i'm just struggling on how to fucking put this together like i don't know what this white box is i need to do something about that um i don't like this layout but this is literally page one i have six pages of text so let's keep working on it um it's 4 30 so i have until midnight to get at least like a couple more pages done but i i'm failing i like the font that i picked for here and the font that i picked for here but i don't know man i'm struggling so i made it orange i made it orange instead of white and put these like squares behind and I think it doesn't look that bad especially on my laptop like this is how it's going to be displayed it's going to be like a, I don't know like a gallery photo gallery on my website so here's like the first page which could be better but I this is a draft this is a draft and then this is the second page which I just don't think is that bad Putting the random boxes made all the difference in my head, and I gotta keep going. But this is a good start, a very good start. I say good start like I haven't been working on this all day for the past week and failing. So, good breakthrough, good breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> so, my iPad died, and that means I'm done for the day. Yeah, it's due at midnight and it's 6, 10 p.m. and I'm not done, but I did a cover in three pages in draft form already, so you get the gist of what I'm doing with the rest. I might do more later just if I charge my iPad and decide I want to, but I'm honestly happy with what I did. It's just a draft. We're not even reviewing these in class until Thursday, so I know that I have at least from today, which is Sunday till Thursday, to get what I need to get done, done for the most part, but like I can turn this in and my professor should be, hopefully will be fine with it. This is what I have so far that I'm just gonna turn in. Um, it's this the cover and then page one, page two, and page three. It's definitely very drafty. I'm just putting together what the gist of it is. Um, and I have this whole document that I wrote with quotes and everything to translate onto these visuals. So I'm nowhere near done, but no one's going to be looking at this until Thursday. And my professor can at least give me feedback on all my text before I even put it on the visuals, which will be really helpful. So all's good. Thanks for watching, if you watched, and I hope you have a great day. You can like, subscribe, follow, whatever, but I'm not going to tell you to. So, yeah, I hope you have a great day.